the scratch code. So today we're going to be making an eat the apples game. Essentially, a sprite runs around the screen, and apples fall from the top of the screen, and the sprite has to catch them. This is what it's going to look like. So uh, basically, we're making an eat the apple game. Basically, a sprite goes around and eats an apple, eats apples, and the score goes up. So go ahead and create a new um, project. So you can delete your sprite, or you can keep it the same. I am going to delete mine, and because I want to make a new and cooler one. Uh, so it's just going to be a blob, a red blob. Let's change the fill color to red. Uh, yeah. Now let's give it some eyes. Yeah. Okay. Make a little another smaller blob. And um, make it a bit smaller. And turn it white. Then copy paste it. Okay, um, now I need to drag it, let me drag that in, let's go to the brush tool, make that black, give it pupils, and how about we go and add a smile. Alright, now that our sprite is done, you can go ahead and get the go to random position command, the forever command, and do when spaces, when the space um, key is pressed. And it has to be the space key, otherwise the game won't work so well. Well, it can't be any other keys, obviously, um, but just as long as you have to press a key to start it. I'll tell you why later. Then make that, make, make go to random position mouse pointer. So basically, you can drag your sprite around everywhere with you. Let's stop and drag it back. So now let's go to variables and let's create a new variable. Let's call it score. Obviously you can call it anything else like points or something like that basically. Just as long as it keeps track of your score. Oh, and turn it on so you can see it. Now we'll go ahead and create a new sprite. Um, yeah. Now, come on, where's the apple? Okay. Um, there it is. Okay. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and drag that apple to the top. Now we need to go over to when I when space key is pressed, <clears throat> then forever. Get the forever command. Um, go to motion, and then go to whatever x y where you put it. Then you need to go to the glide. We need to drag it down and go to the glide command and glide one second there. So basically what you, what's going to happen is the apple's going to start at the top and it's going to glide down and it's going to go straight back to the top again. So you basically have to click it before it goes back up. Um, obviously it, um, the score won't go up yet because you've done nothing with the variable apart from make it. Now back over to the apple. When space key is pressed forever then the if then command take um if touching then sprite one so the little blob um then go to variables change my variable and change that to score by one okay 
Now, we'll see how that happens. Now you see the score's going up rapidly. Now what we need to happen is we need to make it disappear. So, yeah, we need to make the, sorry about that jump cut by the way. So we need to make the sprite disappear when we touch it. Um, so when space key is pressed, let's just get to that. When space key is pressed, go, yeah, there. Set my variable to zero. So basically, as soon as you start the game, your score will go right back down to zero so that the game doesn't finish automatically. All right. Um, now we need to go to when the space key is pressed forever. Uh, if the if then command touching sprite one now to make it disappear so that um you can't keep on getting spo points on the same one it'll disappear so basically the hide just makes it disappear and that's also why when that's also why you need to put in what when space cage press show so that when it begins you can actually see the apple so that disappears and it waits five seconds as well and then it shows so it can come back all right so now that it works just drag that back down there so yeah we know it works now okay so um yeah, that's, that's why. Um, okay. So, let's turn back down. Now, um, now this next bit is gonna be pretty long, so I'll just explain to you what we need to do, then I'll fast forward me doing it. So, you have to Duplicate, so press on, on your keypad with two fingers and then click duplicate. So let's do that about five times. So we have five apples. All right. Um, so now we need to make them all show. Okay. Um, yeah. Sorry, my screen's frozen. Okay. Um, yeah. So, let's make them all show now. Um, now, let's arrange them in a row at the top. In fact, let's put them in order so the next step becomes a bit easier. All right, so, yeah, is that done almost? And yeah, should be done. Okay. So, just checking, are they all in order? Yeah, they're all in order. Okay, so basically, what we're gonna do now is all of the sprites will move behind that one apple when it starts because basically for all of them at the very beginning it says go to this certain place and then glide to the same place so basically the apple will, will all hide behind each other so we need to change that and personalize it for all of them so basically take one apple 
make it go to a certain place at the top, drag it down a little bit, and then use the glide to command. So now I'll fast forward me doing it now, because it gets a bit annoying just watching me do it. Okay, now that that's done, um, let's see how it works. So yeah, now the points will go up and they'll recome after five seconds. Come back again, sorry. Okay, so it works, good. Okay. Drag that back down. So we'll go and make a new background. So now this bit, sorry. Let's go to background. Yeah. So basically, we'll make it so that when you reach a certain amount of points, the background will change and it'll say thanks for playing or this is the end of the game so just gonna get the make the screen red and type in thanks for playing okay um and change the color so you can actually see it <coughs> make it longer and a bit taller so it doesn't look weird um, Oh, mm, it says play in. Alright, let's go ahead and change that. Okay. Good. Now, let's go over to the code. Now, this is the code for the background, so you shouldn't be on any of the sprites. Wait, whoops. Sorry, not when flag press. Okay, when the space button is pressed, um, take... Uh, in fact, yeah, go to switch the the backdrop to backdrop one and then the if then command um operators yeah there's operators all right um in fact we'll go take the score we will take the operator now, when the score equals 50, now that's quite large and it'll take a long time, so I'm going to change it to 20. In fact, no, let's take that weight. Change that to 20. Um, yeah. Okay. So then I'll change the blue sky too. Um, so, when the space key is pressed, If then command score is equal to twenty, obviously then we will go ahead and hide it. And that's why at the beginning you need to make it show so that it's not disappeared for the whole game. And also and that's gonna happen because of that. Okay, so that happens. Go back again. In fact, sorry, we need to put the forever command around um, the if then. Sorry, I made a mistake there. All right. And then change the stack for playing. Um, they're still showing, so we need to make all of them disappear. So there's that bit of code there. You need to put the forever um, command around that uh, too around that bit of code too. Um, so 
should be when yeah so that's when space is pressed just duplicate that and you put the forever command around it sorry i forgot to tell you wait sorry don't duplicate it i'm getting mixed copy paste it in each of them that's also a tip which some people don't know they don't know that you can copy paste things it's command v it's command c and then command v if you didn't know Okay, now let's see how this works. And that's it. And they will not show because of that last bit of code. So basically, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope it helped. Um, and if you were on this to see a certain thing for another game, I hope that helped your other game too. Um, so that's how you make an Eat the Apple game.